What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on how I get this curly, messy, beachy wave look. So I haven't done a curling tutorial in my channel in a very long time. I think the last time, actually no, that's a lie. I have, but I was testing out a curling one. But before that, I think it was when I had my lob and my hair was up to here. So I haven't curled my hair or shown you like how I curl it. And I get a lot of questions on my Instagram about how I curl my hair. So this is pretty much what I do when I style my hair, which is not very often, but when I do, this is what I do. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and also follow me on my Instagram, which I will leave right here for you guys. And before I start rambling, um, if you do enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. It'll help me out so much. And let's get on to the video. Okay, so I have my hair blow dried. Uh, but you can also do this with air dried hair. And the curling iron that I'm going to be using today is the Hot Tools. I think it's a half an inch barrel. I will let you guys know in the description box. But I have these two. And whenever I want looser waves, I go for this one. But whenever I want tighter waves, I go for this one. Either way, my hair is really straight. Um, and it doesn't really hold a curl well. So normally, even if I want loose curls... I go with this one because I know my hair is eventually going to fall and it's going to give me the curls that I want. So I've already sprayed my hair when I blow dried it with the Pantene heat protection spray. I'm not really picky about heat protection sprays as long as they protect my hair and they don't leave it sticky. This one and another argan oil that I've used before don't leave my hair sticky, which I love because I can't stand my hair when it's sticky. And then my hairstylist recommended this brand Unite to me. And this is a 75 second condition leave-in detangler. And it's to die for. It's amazing. I spray this all over my hair. It doesn't make it oily, greasy, sticky. Um, and it just leaves my hair feeling super soft and detangled. So I've already sprayed. I spray that one when my hair is damp. And then this one when I'm blow drying my hair. And then I like to curl my hair and afterwards apply some oils to my hair. Okay, so the bottom section is like the least important one. Uh, the one that nobody really sees. So, split my hair into pretty much like three, four sections upwards. But I do have a lot of hair. So, uh, if you have less hair, it's probably going to take less. Okay, so I plugged in the big one. This one I think is an inch and a half. I'm going to say. I'm not really good with these barrel sizes. Mm -hmm. This one I'm probably going to have to hold it for a little bit more. Because it's thicker. And make sure when you do this, you don't have any kind of oil on your hair or product that can damage or burn your hair off. Um, I've seen so many people uh, burn their hair with products. Um, so use anything that says that you can style with afterwards. Again, I like to start at the bottom. And I'm, I'm grabbing pretty thick strands. And I always think that it's the easiest when I just wrap the hair around myself. Like, I'm not really good with the clips. Uh, I always end up either pinching myself or pinching something. Or I end up adding like a twink in my hair. I'm going to section off another section of hair and this one's a little bit bigger it's like from the top of my ear to about here and I always like to leave the top like crown of my head last um, because that's what really matters because that's what frames the face and that's what people can see so I take my time with that one so starting from the back I'm going to start curling some towards and some away from my face. So that one is away from my face, of course. And then this one I'm gonna curl towards my face. So put the barrel under and just wrap this way. The opposite direction. And again, I like to hold the last, I would say two inches of my hair out of the barrel. So again, curling away from my face. I like to do like one in one. And because these frame my face, I always do outwards. So wait.
So I'm getting three wisdom teeth pulled out tomorrow. And my sister just called me to see when she picks me up to take me, which I feel so bad because I hate making people wait for me. But she didn't want me driving after surgery, which I don't know how. I don't think it would have been a problem. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm doing some in in towards my face and some outwards. But then once I get to these last two strands, I always like to go outwards, especially the ones on the top. So as you guys can see, it looks really nice because the colors don't all melt together. So it looks like more PC, beachy, natural, uh, instead, instead of it all being like just one wave. And then these two always go away from my face. There we go. See, that's when the small barrel comes comes in handy. Okay, so this side's done. Now we're just gonna move on to the other side. Okay, so now that we have our entire head curled, <laughs> funny, um, I like to go in with these two oils. So you guys have seen these in my hair care routine. This one has been like an OG of mine. Um, I got it in a FabFitFun box years ago and I still use it today. So it's the Marrakesh oil and it's argan and hemp oil therapy and it's like an elixir, a styling elixir and it has like this manly scent to it that smells so good. Um, and it doesn't make my hair sticky, it makes it super soft and silky without making it oily. And I feel like it actually makes it less oily than the whey hair oil. So what I do is I take about a pump of this and I spread it out and kind of just run it through my hair. So I don't really pull my hair, I kind of just let the oil, my fingers run through the curls and the uh, oil gets absorbed into the hair. So um, then just mess it up a little bit. Oh, this smells so good. And then sometimes I'll go ahead and be a little bougie and add this one. But if I had to choose, I think the other one is my favorite one. Just because I feel like the whey can sometimes make my hair a little bit oilier. So that's why I really love this one. So this is where you guys can really see how PC this look is. Because you can see the ones that are going away from my face, which are like this one and this one. And then the ones that are going in towards my face are like this curl right here and then the one that's under here. So that is what adds so much dimension to the hair because it doesn't let the hair kind of just like melt into one huge wave. Um, so yeah, I love the way that this comes out, especially with like long hair. And I also have a video for anyone that has like a lob or shorter hair and it's kind of the same technique but for shorter hair. And that's like back then when I had short hair and it came out really, really cute. So it's a lot piecier and messier than this, um, but it's like, it's kind of like a different style. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me any requests down below. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and also follow me on my Instagram, which I will leave right here for you guys. And until next time, I will see you guys later.